Hey guys, I just got back from the doctor and he told me that if I don't find another way to deal with my stress other than drinking, I'll be dead in a month. Anyway, exporting. Now, a lovely guy, I think his name is... Reax Cartoons said, Can you show how to export? <laughs> like, I a question and really shouted it. So, um... Okay, yeah, that'll be a really quick tutorial. I'll show you guys how I export my cartoons. Uh, there are better ways, but I'm going to show you how I do mine. So, let's uh, let's make a really basic animation. I've got, once again, this is Flash. If you don't know what Flash looks like by now and you're trying to learn, there's no hope for you. So, um, I got my stage set up, 800-450. Uh, that's what I export at. It's why it's not exactly true HD, but it exports quick. Uh, there's no, there's usually very few playback issues, and it still fills the entire screen. You don't get like the ugly borders around the side. Um, why am I drawing small objects? Da -da, sort of idea. Okay, so um, let's do a really quick animation. Um, add some frames. There it is. On frame 30, the word hello will appear, and then on frame 50, will disappear. So, hello, done. 70 frames, 2.9 seconds. I hate that. OCD, 3 seconds. Booyah. 3 second export. So, when exporting a new Flash movie, there's a couple of things you've got to pay attention to. First off, you've got to go to publish settings. I can't stress this enough. Okay, now you'll get a window that looks something like this. Um, if you're using JPEGs, like if you've drawn backgrounds in Photoshop, you want to turn on Enable JPEG Deblocking, deblocking, <laughs> and stick your JPEG quality at 100 because otherwise your JPEGs might look like crap. I mean, sometimes I ignore that and they look fine. Other times, you really see a difference. It's mainly the audio that um, you want to focus on. You want to set audio stream and event. You want to go into them, and you want to set them all at the very best, like no one ever was. <clears throat> always turn off convert stereo to mono as well, because it's such an awful setting. I don't know why it's always set at lowest. I know I can change that, but whenever I change my publish settings for a profile, it never saves, it never takes. I don't know why. It's a mystery I'll never solve. Right, now... You go to File, go to Export, go to Export Movie, okay, and, oh, let's get that off the uh, screen then. I'm just going to go to my desktop, uh, I'm going to export it as a .mov, QuickTime.mov, this is what I always export as, and it's just going to be called Exporting.mov, okay, so click Save, choose where you want to export it to, I'm just exporting it to the desktop, Save, and right, you're going to get a box that says QuickTime Export Settings. Okay, you've got your render width and height 800, 450, same as stage, that's fine. Stop exporting when last frame is reached, basically, when the movie ends, it's done. Store data, you don't really need to worry about stored temp data. Um, if, you're, if, you're, if you've set your stage in Flash to a specific color and you, want, and you need that color throughout the whole thing, don't press that box, otherwise you can press that box, it doesn't matter. I'll just leave that box alone, I never, I never mess with it. What's important is you want to go to QuickTime settings, and here you're going to get sound settings. You don't need to go into that if you've changed your publish settings, should be fine. What you want to do is go into video setting, go to settings, in under video, and you're going to get all, you're going to get this box now. And you want to set the frame rate to the same frame rate your movie's at and you can either go export all frames which exports every single frame well it's keyframes it will export every keyframe or every keyframe every 24 frames you want to set that to the same frame rate oh and I've just gone out of it again uh, and you make sure the compression type is set at animation Alright, that's that's very um, useful. 
Uh, I'm doing my, I mean, if you're doing a black and white cartoon, you still want to set it to uh, millions of colours because it, it just gets worse and worse and worse as it goes down. Even black and white just looks awful when it exports. So just set to millions of colours plus, and basically you've got your quality slider here. I don't usually stick it at best, I stick it at high because it ensures a nice export and the difference between best and high is uh, minimal at best so you don't really need to worry about that so okay once you've got all that set um, you can go okay uh, ignore that and export and you'll get a recording flash content and then you'll get compressing quicktime movie and don't be afraid if this bar doesn't move oh it's a three second movie it exported really quickly but yeah when that quicktime exporting quicktime or compressing quicktime movie comes up don't be afraid if that bar doesn't move it's still exporting that bar is just full of lies it is a um a, it is a lying bar uh okay so here's my movie here exporting just open this up quicktime hates my computer i don't know why um i really should just export uh, open this and be awesome there you go, exporting there, press play, hello, done, and it's at 800 by 450, I could upload that to YouTube, but I won't, because it's a waste of time, um, and that'll be your final movie, and that is, for three seconds of animation, the file size is, let me just have a look, 102 kilobytes. but that's three seconds of very basic, basic animation, no colour, no complex lines, just basically squiggles. But yeah, that's basically all you need to know about exporting. Um, there's not really that much more I can show you, I think. I mean, if you draw a picture and you just want to export one frame, you can go export image, or if you select a number of frames that you want to export, this is very useful for if you edit if you edit different parts of your movie together in post, you can go to export selection, and that just exports the frames that you have selected. So you can export your movie as different files, and then you can knit them all together if you know need be. If you want to stick some fancy effects in there, I don't have any video editing software, so I don't do that. Um, but yeah, that's about all I want to show you. Uh, I'm going to go um, crack open a few cold ones, and I'll see you all later. Uh, oh, again, stick your exporting examples if in, in as video responses. Let me know what you think. If anything's gone catastrophically wrong and I've done something bad, let me know in the comments. Have a great day.